It's um some time. Hi guys. Can you guess the title of my next video? Ah. Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Why do ants walk in a straight line? Because they never drink alcohol! Nah. Ants live in big colonies and are very organized. When an ant finds some food, it picks a small piece of it and, while returning, it leaves chemical scents called pheromones along the trail. Each colony has a unique set of pheromones. This trail of pheromones helps other ants of the colony to reach the source of food. Now, as these pheromones evaporate easily, every ant which is carrying food and returning to the colony leaves additional pheromones so that other ants behind it can follow the smell and return to their colony. As the ants follow the smell, they tend to walk in a straight line. In addition to this, we even see ants bumping their heads or colliding with each other while walking. Oh. They do this to identify their fellow ants. When two ants collide, they smell each other's pheromones. If the pheromones don't belong to the colony, the outsider ant might even be attacked. Hmm. <laughs> oh. How do chameleons change color? Firstly, chameleons oh. don't change color to camouflage. Instead, they change color to regulate their body temperature and to express their mood to other chameleons. Oh. The skin of chameleons has various colored pigments such as yellow, red, etc. Below the pigment, there are nanocrystals of various sizes and shapes. The spacing between these nanocrystals is primarily responsible for its uh -huh. color change. When chameleons are relaxed, <laughs> the nanocrystals are close to each other. In this case, when light composed of various colors falls on the crystals, they reflect colors like blue, indigo, etc. This blue color along with the yellow color reflected by the pigment make chameleons appear green. However, when chameleons are excited, the spacing between the nanocrystals increases. In such a case, they reflect colors such as red, orange, etc. The red color combined with the yellow color reflected by the pigment make the chameleons appear orange. Why do we burp? <coughs> to scare others? <laughs> no. When there is excess air or gas in our stomach, we get rid of it through burping. Now, there are many ways huh? through which air can enter our stomach and cause burping. One of those ways is through eating. When we eat food very quickly, we swallow air along with food. Thus, to expel this air, we burp. Also, when we drink beverages using straws, we swallow air present in the straw to suck the beverage. This can also lead to burping. Besides this, Carbonated drinks have a lot of carbon dioxide gas dissolved in them, so ingesting these drinks may also cause burping. In addition to this, when good bacteria present in our intestines break down the undigested food, they produce various gases. These gases sometimes move upwards to the stomach, thus leading to a burp. <laughs> Topic Friction <laughs> Why is it difficult to pull a boat on the beach than on the sea? Mm. Hey, you will find it difficult to pull the boat on the beach. Pull it on the sea. There it will be quite easy. Indeed, why not? Fine, don't listen. Mm. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> At least now try to pull the boat on the huh? sea is quite easy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yippee! Do you know why? Mm. This is because of friction. Friction is the force which opposes the motion of an object. It always acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion. The amount of friction depends upon the texture of an object and the surface on which it is being moved. <laughs> 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 Rough textures or surfaces offer greater friction as compared to smooth textures or surfaces. Arg! Do you want to say that my brand new boat has a rough texture? No. Even though the texture of the boat is almost smooth, 
the small particles of sand present on beach form a rough surface. Hmm. Hence, when we pull the boat on beach, the sand particles uh. offer greater friction and uh. oppose the motion of the boat, thus making it difficult to move the boat on the beach. Hmm. However, the sea being a liquid <laughs> forms a smooth surface. <laughs> Hence, when we pull the boat on sea, it <laughs> offers less friction, thus making it comparatively less <laughs> difficult to pull the boat on sea. <laughs> Topic: huh? Neutralization Reaction How to Treat a Bee Stick oh. mm. huh? <laughs> Hey, oh. hold on, don't go near that honeycomb. <laughs> Please listen huh? to me. It is quite dangerous. <laughs> Fine, go ahead. <laughs> See, huh? I told you. Hmm. Okay, now oh. don't worry. Put this baking soda solution on huh? the bee stung area. <laughs> you got some relief, right? Hmm. <laughs> Do you know why oh. you got relief? This happened huh? because a neutralization reaction took place when we applied baking soda on the stung mm. area. Ah! The venom of a honeybee contains formic acid. <laughs> oh. Huh? When it stings us, it injects that acid into our skin. Formic acid ah! causes immense pain and irritation. However, when we apply <laughs> baking soda solution, which is a huh? mild base on the stung area, <laughs> it neutralizes the formic acid and cancels its effect. As a result, uh -huh. the sensation of pain and irritation Hooray! decreases and we get some relief. Such a reaction between an acid and a base is called neutralization. In neutralization, uh, oh. both acidic and basic solutions neutralize the effect of each other and the nature of both acids and bases gets destroyed. Huh? Oh. <laughs> hey, wait. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, Don't tease that insect. It is not oh. a honeybee. Huh? It looks similar to a honeybee, but it is oh. a bit longer. It is called huh? a wasp. At least this time, listen to me. Okay, don't listen and bear the consequences. Huh? 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 Applying the baking soda is not going to help. See, nothing is happening. I will tell you what to do. Pour this vinegar on the stung area. You will get some relief. Why do you think the baking soda solution did not help in this case? Earlier, in case of the honeybee, we learned that its venom is acidic. Hence, baking soda, being a basic solution, helped to neutralize the effect. Now, in case of a wasp, the nature of its venom is basic. When it stings us, it injects the venom into our skin. The venom causes us pain and itching. Now, baking soda is also a basic solution. Hence, it will not provide any sort of relief. However, huh? when we pour vinegar, which is a mild acid, on the stung area, the acid, that is, huh? vinegar and the base, <laughs> that is, the wasp's venom get yeah. neutralized. As a result, the sensation of pain and itching Hooray! decreases and we feel better.